just have to be continuing to have some loose connections at the sockets. Hopefully I don't have bad IF transformers. The next test for this, if I still can't get anything, will be to get out the signal generator and see if I can get a signal through it. Now I've got the signal generator hooked up. I've got it hooked through a capacitor here so that high voltage can't come back into the generator and destroy it if I happen to hook up to a place that's got DC voltage. I've got the alligator clip leads hooked up now. I'm going to try hooking it up to the antenna first of all. And I'm generating, let me start with an RF signal. I've got it from 300, there I'm getting something. I'm going to set it right at 455. Sounds like I'm getting a kind of a weak signal through it. So I'm getting a little bit of an IF signal through it. I may just be getting a harmonic when I tune into it. That noise isn't good. Something tells me that there's bad capacitors inside the IF cans. Because that's usually the only thing that causes this kind of frying noise. They may not be totally bad. I don't think it's tube related because moving the tubes doesn't seem to really change it much. And I'm not getting enough signal strength from an actual radio station. Only with the generator am I getting enough strength to get anything through it. So unfortunately, I think there may be bad caps in the IF cans. And so what we're going to have to do is to take those cans apart, remove the old bad mica wafers in it, and I've got a 100 picofarad mica cap so it can mount outside the cans. Now what I've done is to break the connection between the first IF transformer and the IF amplifier tube, feed in a signal directly from the generator. getting the signal through but there's still there's still noise and the amount of noise seems to vary intermittently so I really think there's bad caps in those IF cans so what we'll have to do now is to remove the IF cans label the terminals on them and then get those old bad capacitors out of them 